Uh, this is an unboxing of a book. I had a video about Patrick Moore. I didn't tell that I really like his book, so I'm just going to open this. Is it a book anyway? It looks like a book. It feels like a book. It must be a book. Let me open it. Yeah, oh, what is a bigger book? <laughs> Look how tiny it is. I was a kid when that book was. Uh, I saw this, and I wanted always to have this. Oh, look at it! Such a tiny book. Yes, I know because you know everything looks bigger in the brochure. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Is oh that yes, they all look bigger in the brochure. <laughs> oh, yes, so quite pocket size. I can put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't have any thingy. Oh, anyway, anyway. Uh, it's called Observer's Book of Astronomy. It's the constellations, South Galactic Pole, North Galactic Pole. This is according to the galaxy. Oh, somebody else's book. Okay, I bought it online, so already has somebody owned it. The Observer's Book of Astronomy by Patrick Moore, Fellow of Royal Astronomical Society and Fellow of Royal uh, Society of Astronomy. I don't know what's the difference between them. Probably Canada, one of them. Uh, it's published in London and New York. The publication date of this is uh, 1962 originally, but revised edition 1965. This is 1967. And list of plates and contents. Okay, let me first see how many pages it is. Hmm. Okay. Is it telephone number? 221 pages. Oh, I love these old pictures. Oh, I used to have a lot of these kind of old books. I actually may bring one of them that I have. Make a video about it. Oh, that's the one I, I had when I was a kid. Especially, I love those pictures of the iry disc around the stars. I think it was in the latest editions they had that. Not in this early one. There were color plates showing the iry disc around the binary stars. Do they have them here? Oh, look at Jupiter. How by then? Photographing was so. Ah, that's lovely. I wonder is it a drawing or a photograph? It looks like drawing to me. And in the last two or three minutes, the police have actually moved the lorry involved from this industrial stage in Grays in Essex away to what they call a secure location. They want oh, let to be see. take their time in that secure location. To oh, yeah, to this is the one. Oh, oh. On planets with the little iry discs. In, uh, with dignity and respect, they say. They really want to show dignity and respect for the victims uh, of this unimaginable tragedy as the Prime Minister has called it. They're Patrick Moore beside his telescope. A 25 year old man from Northern Ireland. Man, as you can see, his eye was not. This didn't have any problem when he was a kid. It's because of looking at the telescopes, eyepieces, he became like that. He didn't use binary view. Oh, I'm so happy I got this book. That was my childhood book. Uh, of course, many, 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 many years later editions. I was looking at it in the library. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is that one. But anyway, lovely book. Full of. Ah, oh, beautiful pictures of the moon. And Dr. Perfeet in Essex last night, before being moved to the Waterblade Industrial Park. Oh, the first surveyors. CCTV shows a lorry carrying the container arriving at the park. It's not clear where the lorry originates That's history. That's the picture where they loon off the first landing on the moon. The ambulance service at 1.40 this morning. Oh, these are beautiful. My childhood was gazing at these pictures. Arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in police custody. At this stage, we have not identified where the victims are from or their identities, and we anticipate this could be a lengthy process. We will continue to work yeah. alongside many other partner agencies to find out. That was Everest Book of Astronomy by Patrick Moore and as editor and others contributed to. A mixture of the profit.
exceptional uh, observatory pictures and some drawings by amateurs.